Hi, and welcome to Lifestyle with Chin is Versatile. So today we'll be delving into um, a much deeper topic, which is also a bit of concern. Because the truth is, while we before we begin on this journey, there are some things we need to clear the air about. And while it is my desire to entertain you with, of course, our lifestyle and my lifestyle personally using myself as the point in focus, um, um, it's still important to educate us on the t these terms, on these um, kind of life, so that we will be more um, accommodative of other people or more accommodating of other people. Okay, so today we'll be talking about the misconceptions of single parenting. I will also term it as what single parenting is not. Okay, so a lot of um, a lot of single parents have gone on to lament about this. Some have felt really bad and are personally having a hard time, you know, managing the situation with the people around them. But I think it's about time we brought it out further, like bring it to the fore and let everybody know these things are not comfortable. We're not comfortable with these things, okay? All right, so number one misconception, um, in no particular order anyway, so I'm just going to run by run by them and if possible, break into it deeply, okay? So I made a list about it, so I'll be reading from a book, um, a note, my notepad, okay? So we have one, women are single parents. Although I tried to clear that out in the previous video that I made about single parenting situations and how much I believe it's better to make it more a generalized term, call them single parents and not single mothers, okay? So both men and women should be termed as single parents and don't put, attach so much importance on one group and leave the other out. We are all experiencing the same things, okay? So number one misconception that comes to mind when you hear the term single parent, you already um, symbolize that term as a woman. Oh, women are single parents, please, we beg you. Women are not single parents. Single parents are not women. They are both males and females, okay? Men and women fall within the category of single parenting or fall into that category as single parents, okay? Now, another thing under that same tag is the fact that women, women hate men. Really? The fact I decide to become a single mother doesn't mean that I hate men, no. No, don't get it twisted. Don't get it wrong. Don't don't misunderstand the situation. I don't hate men. We don't hate men. As much as I know, we are still we still desire men. Okay, after all, without a man, there won't be a child. Without... Bottom line, we don't hate men. That's the single mothers don't hate men. Another one is that we want to steal other women's husband. Like really. So the fact I eventually, the reason I became a single parent is because I want to steal your husband. Like, are you for real? Please, that myth, that misconception is so wrong, totally wrong, okay? Mm -mm. We don't belong there. And then our sole mission is to find a new man. Really? No. That is not what we are about. No, 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 I disagree. Our sole mission is not to find a new man. Rather, our sole mission is to give hope to those children we have been, we have already made ourselves responsible to and for, okay? Now, another one that really gets me, and I have had a situation with that severally, is that um, single mothers make better side chicks. You have um, married men whom, because they're looking for a side chick, then they believe a single mother is still a better option rather than having to deal with all these young girls who are still looking, at least you are more mature and all of that. I've heard that a lot. So you have married men do that. Okay, I really do not know if men face that, but if you're a single father watching this and you tend to experience that from um, women to married women who rather hunt for you as a man, you know, you might want to mention that. But I know that it is more um, single girls tend to like, oh, okay, lean towards a single father. Oh, yeah, at least he's mature. He, he has gone through the, you know, the rudiments of fatherhood, so he's a bit mature up here. So that's what some people think. But on the side of the women, the married men often think or often believe that the single mother makes a better side chick. Okay? Another misconception is that we, we find often is that we keep struggling and barely keep it together. So you might, at one point or the other, might have said it or not, might have thought about it. Oh, she's always always on the hustle, always on the grind, always on the streets, uh, struggle streets. Yes, we have to be. Like, it's not easy for most of us. While some find it easier, 
maybe because they have better family situations where the family members are more receptive to their situation. Others do not. Others find it really tough. So as much as possible, they want to be out there on the street and get a better life for themselves and their children. So give the single parent a break, okay? So another misconception is that our children are no good okay and that they would likely end up with their end up like their parents it's wrong to say it's wrong to even think about it if you have ever thought about this ever it's really wrong and breaking news no they do not end up in, in most cases like their parents and they make better um, lives for themselves eventually you know why because they've seen the situation um, that they are faced with and then they've seen the struggles that their parents had to put through to make them better They've also sampled it with the lives of their friends who um, might have two parents in a home and then they know what they want. That also helps them form their lives and their decisions in life. So our children are very good. We, they come out amazing. They come out super adults. They come out well coordinated and ready to mingle with the society. They don't lack a thing, nothing whatsoever. Our children are not worse off. Our children are not deprived. As a matter of fact, our children are super, super, super um, privileged. Privileged because they have a whole community to look after them. Trust me, okay? So they're not actually limited. But of course, this depends on the parents and the parents' understanding about life generally. So it's as far as the children are concerned, they're not deprived. They have a parent. They have someone to look after them. Okay? Another misconception is that the dreams of a single parent it comes to an end. Once they begin on that journey of single parenting, that's the end of their dreams. They don't get to pursue their dreams. Hey, wake up from that slumber. That is so untrue. As a matter of fact, it gives us the fact that we're going through that thing at the time. gives us a lot of motivation to kick at our dreams and be better, be a better version of ourselves so that we live better for our children. So our dreams don't come to an end, but rather we start dreaming new dreams. Don't get it twisted, okay? Another misconception is that everyone can relate to our situation. That comes and that goes without saying the married community. So uh, why are you making a big deal out of nothing? It's just, it's not what everybody does. After all, you're not the only parent. Hello, it's not the same situation. Everyone cannot relate to the situation of single-handedly parenting our child or children. Please don't get it twisted. You can't relate to it. You can't, you can't. The fact that you even have somebody by you who can help you lift the body of you either financially, emotionally, or someone who's just there by your side. At certain times, you know that this person is going to be there. It's not the same situation. Please don't get it wrong. Another misconception is that people ask, how do you do it? How do you manage it? How do you handle it with three or more children? Hello? We don't just think about it. We don't even think about it. We just do it. Okay, so please don't come with that pity party of having to, oh, you want to pity for me. Oh, no, no. Mm -mm, thank you. Anyways, thank you, but no thanks. We don't even think about it. We don't think while we're doing it because we know we made a conscious effort to bring that life to this world. Therefore, we make a conscious effort to keep that life living and that life to have hope. So we just do it. Thank you. Um, another one. Every divorce has to be a single parent. Well, I'm sorry. But no, that's not true. Every divorce does not have to be a single parent. In the previous video about single parenting situations, I mentioned something about co-parenting. Some divorces end up amicable, okay? End up with an understanding that both parents have to carry, you know, some days the child will be here, other times the, 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 the child or children will be at this other end. So there's an understanding there. So not all divorce end as a single parenting. So co-parenting gets involved in this one, okay? So this is also where you have co-parenting. All right. Okay. Another one is that, huh? This one is, I get that a lot from some people. It says, um, that at least you get a break while they're not with you. Ah, uh, oh, how are your children? Oh, hello. How are your children? Oh, they're fine. Are they with you? Oh, no, they're over in Lagos. Oh, at least you get a break. <laughs> no, I don't get a break because I'm doing something. Guess what? I'm having a good sleep. 
that which I can't get when they're around. I'm getting to have that a lot. I'm having to exercise, actually exercise, actually exercise. Huh? I'm getting to eat good food, like try to eat, maybe cook and eat, not being worried that, okay, for a time, it's not a break. Because while I'm doing that, I'm also thinking of how to gather for their return. So no single parent gets a break, but rather we just take a rest, a rest in between. Okay, so you could as well say, oh yeah, because they've gone to school, then you get a break. No, you don't. Parenting continues. You have other things you have to do. So don't get it twisted. Another one is the single parent conjures hardship. That's this one. So when you hear the term single parenting or single parent, what comes to mind is hardship. Hey, no, 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 no. Not in all cases. No, it's even wrong. Single parenting doesn't conjure hardship in any way. It doesn't conjure turmoil. It's just how an individual perceives it and, you know, reacts to it that becomes whatever you see. So I'm sure you must have come across single parents who actually live a smooth life, live the best of lives. You have them. Yeah. So there you have it. Um, another one is we shouldn't complain because we chose to do it on our own. <laughs> oh, really? We shouldn't complain because we chose to do it on our own. So because I chose not to be in a toxic relationship anymore, therefore I shouldn't complain if I'm finding it difficult. Is that right? I shouldn't complain if I'm finding it difficult, therefore, be, oh, I chose that life, so deal with it. No, that's very insensitive if you ever think that way. Very insensitive, okay? Don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't do that. All right, another one is a person can successfully do it all by themselves. Really? Can you do it all by yourself? Do you not have people around you? You watching this right now, probably you've never had a child. Probably you're single. Even as you're married, can you do it all by yourself? No. So not one person can. Besides, no man is an island. No, we need each other. We need people around us, okay? Nobody can do it by themselves alone. Okay, another misconception is the fact that people think we're on welfare or we got all of his stuff. I find this very laughable if anyone ever thinks that, oh, at least he's helping out. Please, how far, how much is he helping out with? Can you be compared with what I am going through or having to go through with not just one child? Even one child is too many. Not that I'm saying they're a body, no, but the fact that the responsibility of one child, how much more when it's now doubled or tripled, you know? So we don't get, the welfare even might not be sufficient because if, if the funds, the, if the livelihood or income of a family of two is not enough for that family or that has father and mother, how much more when you now have a single parent family? No. Okay, no, we're not getting all, we didn't get half of his stuff from the divorce or from the settlements or the fact that welfare is coming is still not sufficient. There are needs. And as, as they grow, the needs become huge. The needs increase. Okay, so it's not, it's not um, one size fits all. No, it's not. Okay. All right. So another one is must be pretty miserable or feel trapped as a single mom. Yeah. The truth about this one is in as much as it seems true and it seems true because as the person who feels this burden there are times when we get really depressed and really anxious you know when our emotional state of health begins to dwindle we tend to feel this way feel miserable feel trapped mostly um when you are in a situation of marriage and then got separated and you have to wait out the time before you eventually file for divorce okay so in such times definitely you would feel like that but it's not in your place you the other person on the other side as long as you're not the single mother hey it's not in your place to say it. it's not in your place to think it it's not miserable situation even if the other person might feel so but it's only for a while that feeling only comes for a while but afterwards when we look at the smiles when we look at the life of our children the children we're giving hope it elevates our mood it gives us hope and something to be hopeful for it gives us um, an assurance that the future is better yes that's how we feel okay another one is it's not a choice to be single okay so i'm going to um, bring to to remembrance what a 
very different to my uh, very different to me very close to my heart did say he said that every human being has a choice and that is so true every human being has a choice so it's not a choice to be single i'm sorry is it a choice to be married is it a choice to stay married then it's a choice to actually be single to be a single parent to not be married again it is still a choice of mine and any other single parent out there if they want to be remarried so it's a choice okay so don't come about saying it's not a choice to be single please that is wrong every human being has a choice and the choice is theirs to make likewise it's mine to make okay all right another one is we are broken families hey. no we are not broken families we might be from like it might be that oh the we both went separate ways but my sis my brother listening to this right now we're not from broken families we are not broken families actually we are not broken families no do you know what we're actually blessed with babysitters ah you missed that yes that's what you become so at that point in time, you become a family member. And the good thing is that the world becomes our family because of course it depends on the individual, it depends on that single parent. If they find, if they're open, okay, to let the world, because it takes a village to train a child. I'm sure you've heard that before. Not one person trains a child, no. So welcome to my family. <laughs> Yeah, I know that hurts, right? Oh, sorry. Take heart. Okay, so another one has to do with single parents, single mom, single dad labels. So when you hear um, about a single mother, there's this label that, oh, she's so easy. Oh, she's a man hater, right? And then while we have about 10% of the male communities as single fathers, mostly because they accept to be termed as that and their family members have not yet penetrated them enough i'll come to that i'll explain that later um afterwards they are now saying when you, the label on single dad oh he's so brave you know or another tag will be or label will be oh he's trapped in a female arena because he chose to profess that he's a single father then he, he he's now more like trapped hello are you for real right now mm -mm. okay now another misconception which is mostly found in um this part of my world nigeria um is the fact that it's it's a, it seems more like a general misconception you have people who oh when probably a, a boy has a child a boy has a child with a woman and maybe he has to take care of the child you find a situation where oh okay drop leave him with uh, me the mother now the mother of the man says leave him with me i'll take care of the child go ahead and find a life and that child stays with the grandparents and you know it's forgotten until the man okay the man just sends help and all of that that aside and another situation you have a situation where the man has lost his wife so he becomes a widower rather than allow him to train his children make his decision to train in his children his way they will come and insist that oh you know you need a companion and all of that but it's most times very difficult to find them accept that the woman counterpart that's the single mother now actually does need a woman to help her with the children I'm saying that because in Nigeria, mostly, you have a lot. So that's one of the reasons why you don't have a larger percentage of um, men as single fathers who come out rightly, except those who are very open-minded. And then when they say, like, okay, I'm a single father, and then no, they don't have anything against it. They don't hold anything against the fact of being a single father. So it's only that situation you find people. So these are some of the misconceptions that we tend to encounter as single parents in our community. If it resonates with you in any way, you might want to comment here. And if there are other misconceptions that you thought I might have missed, please also comment, okay? Um, in subsequent videos, um, in, in other video to come, we'll be discussing about the challenges of single parenting. I know you might want to also get an understanding about some of the challenges that single parent face. That's the much we can take for today. I am so glad to have had you sit in and listen. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video if you find it very interesting and someone else needs to see this, okay? If you really would like to be a part of our community, do reach out to me on any of my social media handles and I will be able to connect you to a community that will just be a support group for you to your journey and on your journey to single parenting. Thank you so much for listening and have a lovely time today. God bless you. Namaste.